hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys know if you follow me over on my instagram account i am super focused on increasing the length and the health of my hair this coming year and as the year winds to a close i'm really focused on kind of getting a jump start on my hair goals for 2017 so i have updated and slightly modified my wash day routine now i really like this routine so far i'm not sure if i'm going to stick with it quite yet i will do a little bit more trial and error before settling down and deciding on a new complete routine but this is an option for wash day so what i'm doing is i'm basically starting off on dry hair as you can see and i'm actually detangling my hair dry before washing i know this sounds like a huge no-no of course if your hair is not moisturized or is in any way shape or form uh, dry i would recommend using maybe a product or even a little bit of deep conditioner just to add some kind of lubricant to the strands um that's totally optional up to you because i know some ladies are definitely not going to take any kind of styling tool or their fingers to their hair dry uh, but for me I actually went ahead and did this method and I do remember seeing this method on Taryn Guy's channel a while ago and so I basically just started off on my hair dry and then after breaking my hair down into sections and thoroughly detangling I'm applying a Balance Life's scalp oil. Now this oil is formulated and it can be applied directly to the scalp. You do want to use oils that are formulated for that purpose. You don't want to use anything that's too heavy. It could end up clogging up your scalp and your pores on your scalp and end up preventing growth instead of assisting with growth. And what I'm doing is while those twists are still twisted up and sectioned off to avoid retangling my hair, I am using the beds of my fingers to rub the product in and then what I'm doing is applying a bit more oil and going down the entire strand kind of like a pre-poo plus a scalp treatment. Now I have been trying to really incorporate scalp treatments into my routine because that is linked towards promoting hair growth. As you can see I didn't get a ton of shedding and my hair was ready to go afterward and it was great because once I rinsed my hair it was detangled. Now a cautionary thing I will say about scalp um, massages is that when I first started with scalp massages I did try to go from 0 to 60 and do like every single night scalp massages with oil but my scalp got extremely tender and it felt almost like it was starting to get inflamed so I pulled way back and I just do the scalp massages once a week now in correlation to when I wash. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. I'm not saying don't do scalp massages more frequently. I'm just saying if you do notice that your scalp gets tender, maybe try every other day, once every three days, or like me, once a week, because you don't wanna end up doing more harm than good. Sometimes more is not always better. So after I have my hair rinsed, I'm now detangling again, but this time applying my deep conditioner of choice to my hair and making sure it is completely worked through from roots to ends before I retwist again and then go ahead and sit under my heated cap. Of course, heat makes a big difference in helping the conditioning treatments you use to be more effective. And if you have a steamer, even better because you can get the benefits of both heat and the added moisture from the steam. Another thing that I will say is that you do want to make sure you don't over condition. As always, you never want to send your hair into hydro fatigue. So just use heat and don't exceed an hour with heat, no matter how dry or thick your hair feels. You don't want to go overboard because that could end up making your hair more prone to moisture loss once it's sent into hydro fatigue and it can also be more prone to breakage. So follow the directions. If you're using heat, you don't really want to go beyond an hour. Personally, I don't go beyond 30 minutes. And another thing is that when I had my hair in these sections, once I initially detangled, I went ahead and each time I washed my hair, I actually washed it in those same sections and left my hair twisted, which was very effective at helping me to avoid retangling my hair throughout this entire process. So I did find that to be really beneficial. And I used to do my hair like this a while ago. I kind of got away from washing my hair in twists, but I think I'm gonna definitely go back to that because it really, really 
helped make this process a lot easier and each step was super easy because my hair was already detangled and ready to go and I wasn't retangling it as I would it in the various steps of conditioning and then deep conditioning. So once I got ready to style, um, I was already with freshly moisturized, deep conditioned, detangled hair kind of all at once. So that really was quite convenient and I think I will continue to do that. I do feel like I got less shedding by starting off detangling on dry hair um, and I didn't get any more shedding than what I showed you guys earlier in the video once I wet my hair and went through with it so I'm pretty impressed so far with this wash day routine and this is focusing more on getting more length into my hair by incorporating scalp massages and of course pre-pooing to add moisture so so far so good I am impressed if you guys have any suggestions for things I should try with my wash day, leave them below and I will keep you guys posted on if I truly adopt this new routine and if it does work for me. As always guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.